guys, it's me, Melissa, and welcome back to my channel. Today we got your special favorite co-star, my dad, and we're going to be doing a car accessory type haul from Wish. So I guess without further ado, I'm going to just not be saying much more and <laughs> send it on off to him. Go ahead, Dad. Hello, peeps, and welcome to another Eminem production, or as I call it, driving my daughter crazy. Now, if you notice in the thumbnail, you might have seen this, and you're going to ask yourself, what is this? So before we get on the video, I want to explain what it is. Whenever I purchase a new car or a used car, the first thing I do after I read the owner's manual is I go to Walmart and I buy a $2 binder, I buy a five-piece divider, and I buy one package of the clear pouches that you put in. And the reason is, is that this binder will contain for me all of the information necessary for the car. For example, it's broken up into five sections. Section one is the title. So you always have the title available at your fingertips. I think the you still second have my title, is don't the you? I still have yours, yes. Because I was afraid you were obviously, going to lose obviously it. I'm not an adult to have my own title. Uh, you're going, <laughs> you have yeah, you don't even clean your car, so it doesn't matter. Um, so basically, when I do this, I have it set up so that I have the title, the window sticker, the bill of sale. Then I have a spreadsheet that I put on a drive where I have all of the maintenance by date and what was performed and how much it cost. And then at the end, the last section are the accessories. So what do I put on the car that I added that I, since I bought it? And then if I'm fortunate enough, and this just happens to be one of those rare occasions, if I can get my hands on the actual dealer brochure for the, for the actual car, then I add that to it. So he's very organized. I have, have, I have none of these things. Now you want to ask me, Melissa, ask daddy why I do this. Why do you do that, dad? I'm glad you asked. The reason I do this is for two reasons. One, it immediately gives you all of the information that you want for your car. You know when the last time you changed the oil, changed the wiper blades, changed the filter. You never have to question. But the second reason and the most important reason is you hand this to the next person that wants to buy your car and I can guarantee you the car is sold. Now I traded in my old car to the dealer when I bought this one. I knew what I wanted and we all know how dealers like to lowball your used car. I gave them my book and I said this is what I've done to the car. I expect the highest trade in value possible. They didn't even question my trade in value. They gave me exactly what I wanted because they knew that this book would sell their car immediately. So I checked at the lot. Two days later, they put it on their website. Six days later, it was gone. Wow. So that tells you if you have something like this and you keep it up and you keep the car clean, this really is probably the most incredible selling item you can have when you go to sell your car. So, all I can say is it's a great thing to have. You should do it. And I know from experience, because I do it for every single one of my cars, that I have always gotten the highest trade in value when it's time to trade it in later on. But, the heck with that. It's time to get into the video. Oh, like, uh, well, isn't this a wish all? This is like the one more thing. Whatever. Everything is going okay at the North Pole and the deliveries are still scheduled for the end of December. So let's get back to the video. When you buy, when people talk about car accessories or modifications or add-ons or whatever you want to call it, it's based on you as a person wanting to do something special just for you so your car is yours. Now they come in three different patterns. Show them number one. You don't have to really get up, they can read it. Generic. What does generic mean? Generic means that the accessory that you bought for your car has no vehicle identification, has no manufacturer identification. It's simply something that adds to the aesthetics. There's two of them on the Tucson. So when we go out there, we're going to go by category so you see exactly what I'm talking about. Now category number two. Category number two is brand identity. And what that means is that you can buy an accessory 
for your particular manufacturer or vehicle that you own. But if you go on Wish, that same exact accessory could have 17 different manufacturers. And I'm going to give you an example. This is a keychain. It's a Honda, Hyundai keychain. But if you go on Wish, I can buy that exact keychain for Toyota, Mazda, Honda, Chevrolet, it doesn't matter. And at a fraction of the cost. And right? at a fraction of the cost. Now that cost me, that keychain right here, cost $1 plus shipping. So that's an excellent deal. deal. So I think that that's something, and the reason I put a keychain on my key fob is because I like to have more in my pocket because sometimes just having a key fob, I get nervous it's gonna slide out. So I have that, so it adds a little extra. So I'm, if I touch it, I know it's there. Now, we all know what this is. This is a key fob. And she's coming around for the Boom, key. Boom, key fob. Okay, that's a key fob. Now, what do you do with a key fob? Well, it goes in your pocket. It goes in your purse. It comes out of your pocket. It comes out of your purse. You push the buttons. You do everything you possibly can. And guess what happens to the key fob? Uh. It starts to get scratched. It gets worn. It gets faded. The chrome comes off of it. And sooner or later, the key fob looks like poop. So, wouldn't you want the key fob to look brand new all the time? I do, because again, I'm weird about that. So, this is what I would call a silicone key fob holder. That silicone free key fob holder will protect your key fob. It's silicone, so it'll never break or rust or anything. And it fits, and it perfect. fits perfectly on this. Now, I went on Wish's website, and I saw that there were 12 different silicone covers for key fobs that you could get for any type of vehicle, a Toyota, Honda, Chevy, you can get another key fob in silicone cover. So this was free plus shipping. I mean, I don't think you're going to get a better deal than free plus shipping. With probably like $2 shipping. Yeah, so that's basically two examples of category two. Now category three. Now that's vehicle specific. And what that means is that if you purchase a product like I did for the Hyundai Tucson, it's only for the Hyundai Tucson, it's only for that year. And here's an example. This is a center console stainless steel component that fits in only the Hyundai Tucson. But what I want to do is to tell you something about the integrity of Wish. When this thing came in, it was oh, no. bent. It was non-functional and bent out of shape. Did you bend it back? Can't bend it back because it has to perfectly match the contour. So it was of no value whatsoever. So I simply took a picture of it, went onto the Wish site, went onto the order, sent the picture, say I wanted a refund, and in three days it was back in my PayPal account. So they're really great. With don't feel bad if something doesn't come in the way you were supposed to, or it's broken or something. Because I'm going to tell you, they are incredible at giving you your money back because they want their integrity, so you keep going back and back and back and buying more. So those are the three categories. I think now it's time for us. We're going to go out to the car. We're going to look at what they actually look like. We're going to start off with category one, then we'll go to category two, and then finally we'll finish with category three. Let's go get them. Let's go. Okay, so this is number one of category one, and what it is, it's a door reflector strip. Now, a lot of times at night, you open up the door, and it's jet black outside. No one's going to see anything, but this thing has an incredible amount of reflective value to it. And that's what makes it a great value because this was free plus shipping. Okay, now this is a Hyundai Tucson Sport. But for some reason, Hyundai doesn't put the word Sport anywhere on the car. So unless you know about the special 19-inch tire and wheel package, you don't know that this is a Sport. So I decided, you know what? I want to get a Sport emblem for the interior so that it designates that this is a Sport. And guess what? This cost me 76 cents plus shipping. And it really adds something because the chrome against the piano black looks fantastic. Okay, now we're into category two. 
Like I said before, the Hyundai Tucson doesn't say sport on it, so I said, I want the word sport on the back of the car. So I did. But I got to tell you that you can get this exact sticker, only it says Toyota with the Toyota emblem, Mazda with the Mazda emblem, Honda with the Honda emblem. And that thing set me back a whole dollar seventy-seven plus shipping. So, and you get two. So if you mess up one, you can still go back and put the second one on. Okay, this one might seem a little simple, but it does definitely add a little distinction to the car. And that's a simple Hyundai tire air valve. It's beautiful, it's black, and that particular thing was free plus shipping. Also, guys, so you know, you can get these on the Wish Daily giveaway. Um, most time without the logo. Sometimes you can get them with the logo, but that means you can get them full free. Sorry about the lighting. We are obviously in the car, so it is what it is. There's nothing worse than having a seatbelt dig into your shoulder. So I looked everywhere for one that was specifically designed for the Hyundai. It's soft. It's stitched. And it only cost me $6.00 plus shipping but again like I said you can get it for a Hyundai a Toyota you can get it for anything but I gotta say it makes driving a lot more comfortable because it's a softness on your shoulder rather than a tight seat belt how many did you get for six dollars I got two two for six dollars all yeah. right moving on there's nothing uglier than the door lock metal and I found these Hyundai lock inserts and they come in multiple colors and they were only $370 plus shipping. And, like I said before, you don't have to get them in Hyundai. You can get them in a whole bunch of other different manufacturers. But for the price, you get four of them. One for each of the doors. One thing that I thought was unique were the silicone inserts that you can put all over the car. They make it very easy to clean they pull out very easily as well as the fact that they add a nice distinction but again like I said this is a 21 piece so it's for everywhere in the car including the center console the doors the door handles and it was $16 but plus shipping but also keep in mind again I saw them for Toyota I saw them for Camry I saw them for all different types of components and here are just a few of the other ones that are part of the set, too. These actually are pretty neat. Too bad my car's so old. Maybe I'll get them for my next car. Maybe my dad will get them for me. And finally, there are two components that I've purchased. Actually, three components that I've purchased so far that are under Category 3, which means they were made specifically for my Hyundai, specifically for my Tucson, and specifically for the year. The first one are these four-piece door inserts in stainless steel. They really add a nice, I guess you would call it a more upscale look to the door. And for $16 plus shipping, they're worth every single penny. And like I said, if she turns the camera to that way, you can see the ones that are on the, are on the other door. And there's one on every single one of the doors, actually. And let me show you the last one. All right, and here's the other one like that. Plus we have another set of the silicone things in the back also. Pretty nice set. Really kind of like amps up the car. Hmm. And like I said before in the video from Michaels, but wait, there's more. that were built only 16 are optioned in this red white and blue package it has 460 horsepower <laughs> eight-speed automatic 
It's an Arctic White. Legit, that is the first time I've been in that car. And no, you'll never drive it. Yeah. Just, just, just so you know ahead of time, you'll never drive it. And he said I'd never, I'd never be able to drive it, and that was legit the first time he ever let me be in it. Yeah, in video. that's about it. He's probably gonna clean it right, right afterwards. Okay. Okay, so I, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, what I would ask is if you have any suggestions for something you would like me to do with Melissa, uh, just leave them in the comments. And the second thing I want to say is I just want to say to everyone out there, thank you so much for the comments on the Michael's Grab Bag video. I read them all, and I tell you, it just put a big smile on my face. So thumbs up from my heart to yours. It was fantastic. Like, oh, time for me. Okay. Time for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this wish haul. It's a little bit different. You got to see uh, some things that my dad is like super interested. Like these are things that I would pretty much never buy. <laughs> so it's a way to see kind of like a man side of things. This would be a, a video you might want to show your husband to, or your boyfriend or something like that to try to think about getting something for your car. You know, who knows? So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments or any questions, please put them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you haven't yet subscribed, why not? <laughs> Hashtag Team Cheap Chick. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you soon. Bye.